Ever wonder how a tiny gadget could turn your living room into a theater? Picture this. It's movie night and your living room transforms into a private cinema. No bulky equipment, just one sleek device. Welcome to the future of home entertainment. Welcome to Mini PC Tech where we talk about all things Mini PC. This is Mike, your host. Let's talk about turning your living room into the heart of your home where every movie feels like a premiere. And it's all because of a silent, almost invisible box that you control. So why use a mini PC? Let's dive into how these small powerhouses are redefining home entertainment. Adding a computer to your home entertainment center can magnify its value to the family. It makes it into a streaming giant, communications hub, and gaming center. Well, why not a desktop or laptop? Making that computer a mini PC reduces the energy and physical footprint needed. It also keeps the background noise down and costs less. I have Mac Minis on three TVs throughout my house. It lets me stream services that don't exist on the TV or any service like Roku, courseware like Udemy or Coursera, Zoom or Google Chat meetings. It even makes services like YouTube easier to access. How do we select these mini PCs? We research based on a set of criteria for each use case. It is based on processing power, graphics capability, storage, and connectivity options. For processing power, we looked at the memory and the CPU requirements. This combination is what drives the flow of information in and out of the computer. If the memory or CPU are too slow, then the video will be choppy or slow. If the combination is faster than you need, it may be more expensive than you need for the job. The graphics is measured by how many displays, what resolution, and whether it's a card or a GPU. Finally, we look at connectivity. Connectivity is more than just HDMI and other connections needed for video. It's USB connections for external storage, printers, speakers, and other peripherals. It's Bluetooth so that you don't need the computer where the devices like speakers, keyboards, and mice are. And the computer can be separated from the speakers to reduce any noise issues. It's the network so that you have stable access to services on the internet. Wi-Fi 5 and 1 gigabyte Ethernet are pretty standard, but some support Wi-Fi 6 and 2.5 gigabyte Ethernet. The latter gives you more speed and stability, but you have to have the infrastructure that supports them. With that, let's support our picks for your home entertainment setup for 2024. Each selection is based on how you might set up a home entertainment center. Some of us have very simple needs, a hub around a great TV. Others need a whole house system for multiple displays and speaker systems. We hope to address all of these. Across all cases, we consider the noise levels and design. For noise levels, we looked at those with quiet or fanless options. For design, we looked at whether they are lightweight and a unobtrusive as possible. With that in mind, let's look at our five options. Links to each mini PC are provided in the description below. The Mac Mini is great all round if you are an Apple household. It integrates well with your iPhone and MacBooks. You can get options that can take you from a single TV to whole house, but not quite to 
8K. The Beamlink S12 is a great machine if you want just do basic 4K streaming to a single TV. It's a budget pick, but it works well for that. The MIDI UM690S supports up to three monitors, including an 8K monitor or smart TV. It gets you into some gaming as well, so it's a good choice for, those, for a whole house. The GMK Tech Ryzen 9 is a step above the Mini's Forum at a price. It too supports three monitors, including an 8K, but the Ryzen 9 fast memory and Radeon 780M GPU gives you a much better video and gaming experience. The Nook 12 Enthusiast gives you the ultimate full house experience with support for up to five TVs and a high-end gaming experience. With that, let's look at each Mini in more detail. First, the Mac Mini. I own two of these and manage a third 2013 model for an older relative. It just works. The few times we needed to contact Apple support for setup issues went very quickly. There are a lot of variants, but all in the same form factor. The basic unit will support up to four, two 4K 60 hertz displays, while the high end can support up to 6K displays. People claim they have it working at 8K as well, but I can't find any information on that in the Apple documentation. This is a mini, but not tiny, at 1.4 inches by 7.75 inches by 7.75 inches and just under 3 pounds. It's not the smallest mini, but it's a headless Mac, and if you are an Apple fan, this may work for you. All in all, our Mac minis sit inside a cabinet. There are no fans, and we haven't seen any overheating issues. As long as your cabinet has sufficient airflow, you should be just fine. Some third parties sell a mount to put it behind a monitor or smart TV if you want to. The M2 Basic Mini comes with 8 gigabytes of memory and 256 gigabytes of storage. It supports two Thunderbolt connections and an HDMI connection, which allows for up to two TVs or monitors. It only has two USB connectors, but you can easily expand that with an external USB hub if you need to. What about upgrades? The M2 is expandable to 24 gigabytes of RAM and up to 2 terabytes of storage. The M2 Pro base model ships with 16 gigabytes of memory and 512 gigabytes of storage. It's expandable to 32 gigabytes of memory and 8 terabytes of storage. Next, let's look at the B-Link S12 Pro. For under $200, it's a great budget solution for a single home entertainment system. Great for streaming or video conferences, but not really a gaming solution. It only also only supports up to two 4K displays. The B-Link S12 at 500 gigabytes of storage can store around 100 full-length movies, but with four USB ports available, you can always add external storage and make it into a small network attached storage for streaming to a few TVs that support a, an app like Plex. The Midi's Forum UM690S supports up to three displays, including an 8K display. The Radeon 680M graphics card allows you to play games, though it's not an amazing game machine. It comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM and is upgradable to 64 gigabytes. The 512 gigabyte storage is also upgradable to 2 terabytes, making this a good hit candidate for storing your own content, streaming, and some gaming. It also supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2, the latest versions of each at this point, as do all of the other minis we will talk about from here on in. Next, we have the GMK Tech K1. Its Ryzen 9 and fast memory are compatible to the minis forum, maybe 10 to 20% faster. 
Unlike the Mini's Forum UM690S, the GMK Tech Mini PC comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM and 2 terabytes of fast SSD storage. The Radeon 780M is slightly faster than the 680M. Also, it supports up to two 4K and eight 1K display. So what you get here is a little faster mini PC with all of the upgrades. Finally, we have the Nook 12 Enthusiast. Like the Mini's Forum, it ships with 32 gigabytes of RAM, but only one terabyte of disk. Its graphics card is twice as fast as the graphics card in the Mini's Forum, but with a higher price. But what you get is a brightly lit computer that can support up to five screens, four 4K and one 8K, truly a full house entertainment system. It is also great for computer gaming. It also has amazing connectivity compared to the others with six high speed USB ports and two mini DP ports. So what do we have? We have the B-Link S12 is good for a small entertainment system. The Mini's Forum's UM680S is good for a system with two or three displays or light gaming. The GMK, GMK Tech K1 comes with all the bells and whistles that the Mini's Forum can be upgraded to and is a little better for gamers. The Nook 12 Enthusiast is good for a whole house entertainment system as well as more serious gamers. And finally, the Mac Mini has options somewhere in the middle and is good if you like Apple products and want to be compatible with them. So here we have solutions that can work for regardless of what your budget is. We hope this was helpful. If you like these videos, share it, let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thank you.